The science fiction movies have been tantalising us with the idea for years. Now it's finally here. A projector that can display images in thin air. I've come to San Francisco in California to meet the inventor, who dropped out of uni and invented this amazing technology in his bedroom. Swapping the lecture room for a lab bench has been a good career move for 29-year-old Chad Diner. This is it? Yes, this is it. Yeah, tell me about it. Well, this is the Hilo display, and uh, as you can see, there are images projected into mid-air. This has been quite my dream to make this into a reality. And Chad's dream didn't come out of thin air. What gave you the inspiration to do this? Uh, a lot of the inspirations from science fiction movies like Star Wars and Minority Report, where you have these floating images, and how cool would it be to actually be able to interact with a lot of these images and be able to walk right through them, put your hand right through them. The screen, of course, is the ingenious part. This is actually a very thin and fine mist of water particles, and the image is simply projected onto it. Because all air is humid to a certain extent, it contains a little bit of water, and you can extract that water by cooling the air. The water droplets just condense out, creating a screen that can capture the image. Light is reflected off the tiny water particles at just the right angle to form a picture. This is the guts of the unit that creates the screen. Basically, fans draw air in through here and take it off to the cooler. That's where the water droplets condense out. I mean, it's a fridge, basically. Then you end up with this fine mist that's eventually blown up through here as the screen. Now, if you take a close look at the outlet, you'll notice this fine honeycombed mesh. That's a key part of the technology. That's designed to take a lot of the turbulence out of the air, creating this nice smooth flow, giving you a smooth screen to project the image onto. Yeah, I guess the key is to get this sort of flow as smooth as possible, because it eventually becomes wavy. It's like a cigarette, you know, you get that nice smooth stream and then eventually it becomes turbulent. The Helio display is user-friendly and can be set up just like a regular TV. The DVD player is connected to the Helio display unit. Now, that unit has two basic parts. It has the screen and the projector. The projector is just a standard off-the-shelf projector. Screen size is about the same as a standard home TV. The picture can be viewed from an angle up to 75 degrees. Chad is developing a screen that can be viewed from any angle, 360 degrees, as well as an interactive one where images can be flipped or moved any way you like. This can be used in preoperative surgery. When you have a virtual uh, display in front of the, of the patient, and this is not obtrusive, so you can actually put your hand through the image, uh, have information in front of you, as well as be able to see the patient. High contrast images work better than low contrast. There's still a lot of work to be done, but already Hollywood has shown an interest. Uh, we're, we're making continuous advancements that have like a, a wider uh, color range in, in, in viewing. So this is very much sort of a stage one, is that right? Absolutely. This is very embryonic. This is our proof of concept. And uh, this is just the beginning. So projecting forward five or ten years, what do you think this technology will be like? I think we're going to see, start seeing a lot of different things. Uh, this, the image will certainly be a lot larger. Uh, the picture quality will be a lot better than what it currently is, and the device will be a lot smaller. If you can't wait for five to ten years for the picture to be refined, the current model, your own Helio Home TV, could be sitting in your lounge room sooner than you think. So, how much will it set you back to live out your sci-fi fantasies on one of these? Well, they expect to retail for about the same price as a TV plasma screen, and they're currently being manufactured, so they should be available very soon.